Hey everyone, it's Vicky Korn. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to make tie-dye saddle pads. Okay, so materials you'll need are, first up, you'll need a piece of cotton cloth or some kind of fabric. I would suggest using a piece of cotton cloth because it gives you that saddle pad feel and it naturally has these like little patterns that makes it look like a saddle pad. Some scissors, a bunch of these markers. You can use um, dry erase ones like these ones and you can use permanent markers like these ones. You can also use Crayola markers, which I'm sure you guys all have. It doesn't really matter what kind, as long as it's not dry and that it has enough ink to dye a cotton cloth. This is also optional, but you can also use some sort of pretty string. Um, I have these elastic strings here that I think will work really well. You can also use mask strings. Definitely a hot glue gun. So the first step is to choose what colors you want your tie-dye saddle pad to be like. Now, here are some ideas. These are the pads that I made before this tutorial. So here are some tie-dye ideas. You can make like a green one, a blue one, a orangey yellow one, and these rainbow ones are also super cute. So yeah, now you can decide on what color you want it to be. And now you can go get a model horse saddle this one or this one, you can use both of them, it's fine. But if you use this one, your saddle pad will turn out to be this rectangular shape. But if you use this one, it's going to be like this shape. So it depends on what shape you want. And if you don't have a model horse saddle yet, you can just trace out the shape. I'm pretty sure it's not gonna be too hard. It's like the saddle shape, either like this or like that. And also the color match on your saddle pad is really important. So since I'm gonna be using this pink blue color for my saddle pad today, I'm going to pick the same color that I'm gonna dye my saddle pad with so it actually matches. Now you're gonna take one of the colors that you choose, um, either the blue one or the pink one in my case, and you're gonna trace the shape of this saddle onto your cotton cloth. And also another really good tip, make sure that you're tracing the saddle pad a little bit bigger than your saddle. You don't want it to be the exact same size, otherwise it won't show. So make sure you trace it a little bit outside of the saddle. Now to fill in these parts that I weren't able to trace. After that, open both of your marker colors. Or if you want to do like a three color tie dye, that's also fine. Open both of these markers and leave them here for them to dye the cloth on its own. You can also color it if you want. You can also color it like a little stripe. For example, you can color here this part pink and then you can do that part in blue. It doesn't really matter how you design it. It'll look pretty either way. So I like to do mine like these little stripes because I think they're really cute. Here is my rough design of the saddle pad. And it's fine if you colored outside of the lines, we're just gonna cut whatever is inside of the line. And also, because I used dry erase markers, it dried really quickly for me. But if you use like permanent markers or one of those markers that don't dry as fast, you may have to wait a couple minutes before you cut it off. But for me, I'm just gonna cut it off. While you are cutting your saddle pad off, you can start by heating up your hot glue gun to save you some time. All right, so I cut the saddle pad design off. And if you're using a cotton tissue or a cotton cloth like me, you'll realize that there are several layers and the layers will start to separate. So now is the time where you will get your hot glue gun and glue the layers together on the sides to help it so it does not um, separ separate to different layers when you actually play with it. All right guys, so unfortunately the first one I did, I actually lost it after I went for a little break. I don't know where it went. So I made another same one with the same design, 
And now we're gonna get into the next step. As you can see, mine did separate. So now we're going to glue it back together. You don't have to glue the middle part, just the top part. So yeah, we're gonna glue that together. And I will see you guys when I'm done. Alright guys, so I used the glue to fix this back together and sorry if my desk is a bit messy. But now we're going to add this pretty string onto the saddle pad. Alright guys, so I glued the saddle pad together and here's what it looks like. Now I'm going to try it on my horses. Alright guys, so here's what the saddle pad looks like with Poppy and Sophia. It's a very pretty color and I'm absolutely in love with it. I think it looks so nice. And this tutorial is also super easy. It's really easy, really simple, and it looks really pretty. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and found it very helpful. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!